Hi, my name's Richard, and you're watching Papa's Bricks. Are you ready for another LEGO City update? Okay, so this is the beginnings of my uh, expansion to my LEGO City. Uh, this is my, my second table. Um, I took all the buildings off it, obviously. <laughs> I've got some sorting to do here. Got some sorting to do there, and I placed all the buildings over here uh, on these two two platforms. And I'm going to uh, start this side of the Lego City with the freight train. So I'm gonna uh, get the freight train laid out on the table, and then figure out where my roads are gonna go. That way, I'll have a better idea of where I can place all my buildings. So that's just a uh, a good uh, uh, helpful tip. For anybody that's, that's starting a Lego city or getting ready to build one or thinking about putting a train in there. Uh, if you're thinking about doing a train, do the train layout first, then the roads, and then you'll know where you go, where you can put your buildings. Uh, I learned that the hard way. But anyway, just a little helpful tip. So this back section of the table here, uh, I like how I did the raised platform over here. So I want to do a small raised platform over here, and I think I want to do like a little l shape little section here and that's going to be mountain i'm gonna have uh, kind of a mountain scene that way i can integrate my wonder woman set here i've got like five of these sets four or five of these sets uh so i can supersize it and then throw that into the mountain side <clears throat> and then i'll have my wonder woman set in there and then i've got this uh four by four off-roader uh adventure set um comes with two mountain bikers, the four wheel drive and then a little camping section. So I thought that would be good. I can kind of integrate that into the mountain. And sorry about the noise, it's really windy uh, here in West Texas. So my my little fan is blown that's on the roof of my building. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's, that's what's gonna happen there. Uh, and then between the two tables, I'm gonna build a, another platform that's gonna be uh, water. So that's gonna be my water section. Not quite sure how big it's gonna be. If it's gonna be five by five or four by four uh, base plates, not quite sure. But <clears throat> I'll figure that out when that time comes. And I'm gonna have this uh, Lego City Ferry. It's an older set. I uh, can't remember what year it's from, but I just acquired that recently. And I thought that would be a good idea to uh, transport the vehicles from, from this side of the city to this side of the city. <clears throat> and then also with the, um, the water, I acquired this um, Legos uh, car, cars thing, and it's the oil rig. So I can put that in the water as well. Thought that would be a good, <clears throat> good scene. And then also I have this uh, older set here. It's the Monkey Kids uh, Secret Headquarters. Um, being that it's like a, a, a boat with shipping containers, I thought that would, that would be um, perfect for, for this side or the water side of the Lego City. <clears throat> and then depending on the size of the platform, maybe I can put a beach and then uh, some skyscrapers, maybe. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> And then, uh, so my plans uh, for that side of Lego City, as you know, it's gonna be my superhero side. So I've got my Daily Bugle, my uh, Hulk gym that I did a mock of, the corner, uh, the downtown diner. Um, <clears throat> and then I've got some skyscraper mocks that I've built. I'm gonna revisit that. Uh, there's my Daily Bugle and my Avengers Tower. I've got another, um, Skyscraper that I purchased instructions from uh, Bevan's Bricks on Rebrickable. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for parts to come from Lego for that. But I think I'm going to revisit the sitcom tower. Uh, it's it's too tall for my Lego city. Um, as you can tell, like next to a skyscraper like Daily Bugle, it, it towers it already. Uh, so I'm going to take two levels out of this, two floors, and make it just five floors instead of seven. Um, and then that way it scales a little bit easier with the with the modulars and then it won't be as tall as my skyscrapers so uh, that the skyscrapers will be able to stand out a little easier um, well the 
Brick Artisan does a sitcom suites. And so I'll take those uh, two floors out of this. And I've got some other sets that I accumulated when I was building this one. And I can build the, the uh, sitcom suites. And that will complement well with, with this building. And so that's my plans for that. <clears throat> anyway, any, uh, any tips, tricks, or uh, suggestions, uh, leave your comments down below. Um, thanks for watching Papa's Bricks.